Hello everyone, thank you for joining my tutorials. Today we'll see how we can able to download the weather data like precipitation, minimum temperature, maximum temperature, relative humidity, all this kind of weather data we can able to download and we can able to use it for the SWAT modeling. So how to download the data set that we'll see. After that, we'll prepare a rainfall map using this data set, okay? So how to download? For that, we just need to go to this power website, okay, NASA power website. So if you go to Google, just search here as a NASA power data. So once you will search here NASA power data, you will see the first website showing here data access. Just click on it. I will also provide the link in the description box from where you can able to access this website. So welcome to the power data access viewer. So just click on the access data. Okay. So this I don't want. So I'll remove from here. So first we need to select our location where we want to download the data set, okay? So like you might have in your study area where you're interested to download the weather data like temperature precipitation. So that we need to select. To select that, this option is given there. There is a power regional data access. So just click here. You will see the new window will open. There is a power regional data access. So this I don't want, I will remove this and just shift this location. So choose a user community. Here I will choose agroclimatology data. Okay. So you want a daily rainfall, monthly rainfall or annual rainfall that you need to select here. So we'll go with the daily rainfall. Then option is here. Okay. Extent. So just need to click here and we need to select a data set. If I'll select a smaller data set, then it will give me error. That is an invalid input specified. Please specify a large region. Okay. So we need to select a larger region. So just click and just click here and just select a larger portion. Okay. So now you can able to see the latitude and longitude is coming here by default. After that, for which year you want to download the data set. Okay. So we need to select a starting date and end date here. So let I will select a starting date from like I'm interested to download it for the 2020. Okay. And first Jan. And also I will select here 2020. And I'll go up to December. So from January to December, I'm selecting here. So after that, whatever the file format you want to download that is a csv or net cdf we'll download both but i will show you first net cdf and then csv just sixth thing is that we need to select the parameters okay so if you want a solar flux then just click on the all solar surface short wave downward after that there is an option that is a temperature okay so I'm interested to download for the temperature that is a minimum temperature, maximum temperature, maximum and minimum temperature. After that, I want this precipitation file. Okay. Also relative humidity. Then if you want a wind pressure, then you can able to get the wind speed at 10 meter. So these are all parameters if you require, what are the parameters required for your sweat model that you can able to select. So I'm selecting here and if you want to prepare precipitation map or any different kind of map that also we can able to prepare that also I will show you how to prepare a precipitation map using this data set. So here all the information we have added and just need to click on the submit. Okay. So I'm selecting here a net CDF and that net CDF file will open in ArcGIS. Okay. So just click on the submit. So after click on submit, the data is available for the download. Okay. So it is giving me resolution and just click on the download as a net CDF. Okay. So the file is downloading here and it is completely downloaded 2020. Okay. After that, just go back. And if you want to download it for the CSV file format, so just click on the CSV. Again, click on the submit.
and just click on the csv so csv data is also downloaded i'll just click on the csv So now you can able to see all the data we have added here and you can able to see the information is given here that short form is here and full form is given here okay so now you can now you can able to see this is precipitation corrected data okay precipitation corrected so this one is there precipitation corrected then this maximum temperature minimum temperature and this is the solar and this is the sky surface short waves then there is a wind speed okay all data is there and uh, i'm interested to open this net cdf file okay i have also downloaded the net cdf file that i will open in rgs so let i will show you the net cdf file which we have downloaded so just click and go to download and this is my net cdf file okay so i will just cut this file and i will just paste into my folder where i'm working so i'm working here as a weather data here i will paste so this file is there for the 2020 that i will open in arcgis so let i will go to arcgis in the arcgis if you are familiar with the arcgis then you know this there is arc toolbox just click on the arc toolbox after clicking on the arc toolbox we need to go to multi-dimensional tools okay in the multi-dimensional tools make net cdf as a raster file so we are having a net cdf file so that we can convert into raster file so just click on the make net cdf as a raster so input net cdf files we need to click here and we need to go to the location where we have saved our data so I have saved my data in the YouTube video folder. I'll just click there. After that weather data. And here is a 2020. Power regional daily 2020. Just click on OK. So now from here. I need a precipitation data. So I will select a precipitation. Then by default it will take longitude, latitude. And the band dimension then band dimension click on the time and other option is as it is and just click on the ok so this net cdf file we have added but we'll export this into tiff file so just right click data and export data so what are the folder we are working that folder we need to select here in which folder we want to save data so i'm interested to save this data in this folder and uh, other option i will keep as it is and just click on the ok here you can also add a name what are the name you want to provide to this file i'll just go by default and just click on the save So would you like to add the exported data to the map layer click yes so this is the precipitation data but this is you are getting the band information okay if you right click go to properties you will see there are number of bands are there okay so we want to extract the information for the rainfall okay so this is band information there to calculate this we need to go to cell statistic just click on the special analysis tool okay in the special analysis tool there is a local in the local there is a cell statistic so just provide this layer which we have exported and the output location means where you want to save this and here we need to select a sum just click on the sum and just click on the ok
So now we are getting the highest and lowest rainfall here. Okay. If you right click, go to properties. So I can color this. So this location is having minimum rainfall and this location is having highest precipitation where you are able to see the red. So we can convert this into highest resolution, but we need to project this data and then we can able to convert this file into highest resolution. So how to project it? So if you'll see this data set is falling into UTM zone 43. If you want to know at what UTM zone your file is falling, so my previous video is there. I will share the link in the description box from where you can able to access the video. And now we'll project this file. So to project this file, we need to click on the data management tool, then projection and transformation, raster and project raster option is there. Project raster. So just select this file and add here. Now you will see this is in WGS 1984 and I'm interested to convert this to projected file format. So this falls in 43 UTM zone. So I'll click here as a projected coordinate system. Then UTM, then WGS 1984, Northern Hemisphere. And my file is UTM zone 43. Just click on OK. Here we need to provide an output location means where I want to save this file. So just click. So I'm working here in this folder. I will just click on this folder and weather data. Here I will save PRJ precipitation.tiff. Click on save. Click on OK. So now this file is a projected and now if you'll right click, go to properties, you will see the cell size. Okay. Very large cell size is there. We will convert this cell size into higher resolution. So for that, what we can able to do, we'll just convert this into raster to point feature. So for conversion, conversion tool is there, conversion tool. So from raster, I will convert to point feature. So just add input raster, this file. After that, where you want to save this, just provide a location. So I'll save here as a raster to point. Just click on save, just click on OK. So each cell will get the value okay now you can able to see this is the value for each cell and after that we'll use this grid code for idw okay we'll use this grid code for idw so what is idw that is inverse distance weightage so if we'll go to special analysis too there is an interpolation and idw is there just right click go to help you will get more information about the IDW. So what is IDW interpolation as a raster surface from a point using an inverse distance statistic. So you can read here in more detail. I will just click on the IDW that input point feature. So this is my point feature and Z value I will select as a grid code because it contain my precipitation and the what is the cell size you want. So I want cell size as a 30 meter so i'll select as a 30 meter and where you want to save this you can provide output location i will just go by default and just click on ok So now it is successfully completed IDW. We can also 
change the color of it. Just go to symbology. You can choose your favorite color ramp. Just click on apply and OK. So this way very easily we can able to download any data set which can be useful for SWAT modeling as well. And also if you want to prepare a rainfall data, for that also it will be very useful. Just right click, zoom to layer. And if you'll see this data set, which is available for you from So this data set is available from you 1981. Okay, from 1981, you can able to access this. So till 2021, 22, 23. So this way very easily we can able to download the data set. Now, if you want to clip it for your study area, you can add your study area and you can able to clip or you can able to extract rainfall for your study area or precipitation for your study area so if you're having any doubts you can just ask me in the comment sections don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel thank you